Hi, it's the old storyteller, John Scott. Time for another story about Christmas and why I love it so very much. I told you last time we did a story about why I wear this hat and this particular scarf at Christmas time. It's very special to me. If you want to look that up, it's called the hat that rekindled Christmas. But I'm going to wear it for all these stories from now until Christmas. I want to go back in time, back to why Christmas means so much to me from the very, very beginning. When I was a little boy, we were extremely poor. It was right after the war. Jobs weren't to be found. My dad took several years to find a job. He just did odd work to get a dollar here and a dollar there, working on the farm mostly. And we didn't have it very well. We heard the story about Santa Claus. Mom told us that. And we would wait on Christmas morning to see what Santa had brought. And uh, usually it was nothing. And I'm not exaggerating. I mean nothing at all. And my dad was quick to say, well, I don't know what you boys did, but you made Santa not stop here this year. And all year we were so, so sorry and tried to figure out what we could have done and do it better so that next year we might get something in our stocking. We heard about this marvelous man with a flying reindeer, and it, it didn't happen. Sadly, when it did happen, and I actually got something from Santa Claus, I had it all figured out. My mom had found a little red rubber ball. It was one of those balls that used to be attached to a paddle with a rubber band and you could hit it. I called it flyback paddle or something it was called. And I knew that's what it came from. I'd seen one of those. My cousin had one of those. And it was a little ball like that one that I found in my stocking. And I realized that mom had put it there. But that wasn't a bad thing. That was a good thing. She loved me enough to do something very special. Many years later, when I was fairly successful in radio, I wrote this story about that ball into a poem and recorded it. Made a 45 record out of it. It was played on stations in about 13 or 14 states and pretty much every bar room <laughs> and you know, restaurant jukebox in the city of New Orleans and surrounding areas. That's where I was working at the time. I gave my mom a box of 100 of those 45 RPM records and when she passed away, I found the entire box open, but she didn't give it to her friends as I thought she might. I guess she couldn't bear to part with one of them. But that song is going to be next. I'm going to do a recording, an updated version of the Christmas Ball, and now you'll know how it all started.